Right, I know your preacher ain't never no, read this. Isaiah 65. 66. You know what I want. Hey, I didn't shout ain't one this one. Y'all, but go ahead. I can do all things through Christ, which strengthen me. Hallelujah, huh? Right? I can do all things in Christ that strengthen me, but not them laws, bro. <laughs> when it comes to them laws, yeah, brother, we can't do them laws, right? Y'all quote that scripture in the Christian church. Right? Read it again. I can do all things through Christ, which strengthen me. They put limitations on our Lord, right? And said, I can't keep the law. I'm a sinner. This is what Christianity teach. This is why you got to get the hell out of them churches. My brother, unfortunately, is a byproduct of these Christian right. churches. Give me Luke, chapter 1, verse 97. Read that. Yeah, yeah, that read. Book, uh, Book Isaiah, chapter 66, and verse 17. They that sanctify themselves and purify themselves in the gardens behind one tree in the midst, eating swine's flesh, and the abomination and the mouth shall be consumed together, said the Lord. Shall be what? Consumed together, said the Lord. Most high God said, oh, you you listen, oh, brother, I'm going to let you get yours off, right? You finish this. Yeah, the most high God said, he participates when he comes back, when he sent his son, come back, right? When he sent his son, he called Jesus, right? When he sent his son to come back, you are partaking in eating ham, salami, all that madness, right? Uh, well, give me some more. Uh, pork dishes, chitlins, chitlins, pepperoni, bacon, right? Eat any, all that, pig feet. You eat any of that madness, right? You are going to be consumed yes, along not. with America you get in the lake of fire. Okay. All right, one more, one more, brother. Luke 1 and 37. Look, I want you to do it with the Bible, though, brother. So we know what I'm saying? I want you to explain it with the Bible. It's a Bible. Explain it with the word of God. Because I don't want you to speak your own opinion. Read that. For with God nothing shall be impossible. What, what, what the most I said? For with God nothing shall be impossible. No, but I can't keep the laws. The laws is too hard for me. For with God nothing shall no, be no, impossible. No, no, I need sinful flesh. I can't do it. Nothing shall be impossible. Nothing. How the hell do you put limitations on heaven? Do y'all ever look at the uh, yeah, that's, not a, that's not a thing. First of all, and that's not a thing. Hell's in the Bible. Hell's in the Bible. Give me, give me, give me, give me hell, man. Give me um Revelation 20. Oh, you joking? Okay, I was gonna be like, come on, man. Go ahead, read all love each other. Yeah, we all love each other. This is all love. This is love right here. This is strong rebuking right now. Yes, you Right? Give me um brother, the brother, the brother is basically saying the Most High God has limitations, right? Like the Most High God can't snap his finger and make us change. They get right. He's saying basically because we in sinful flesh, which Christ came and overcame, give me Romans 83. We can't do it. This is what he's saying. This is what the Christianity church teaches, right? They say, I can do all things in Christ, which is the me, but not, not overcoming sin. That's crazy, man. We're supposed to be followers of Christ, right? Watch this. Book of Romans, chapter 8 and verse 3. For what the law could not do, and that it was weak through the flesh, God sending his, his own son. And the likeness of sinful flesh. So Christ was subjugated to the same things right, we were. Right, Watch it. Right. And for sin, condemn sin in the flesh. Condemned it. Condemned it. He showed you it's yeah, possible. I'm just, I'm just, I'm right? So look, all, all his disciples did, right? All the apostles following that group, right? And you see in the last days, the prophets doing it right again. Sometimes I'm getting so go ahead, brother. Go ahead. Go ahead. I'm just trying to, I can't yeah, what I'm saying. Right. Oh, yeah. Go ahead, brother. So they get us. What's your scripture? What you bring it up? Okay, I'm going right here at the fifth chapter of First Thessalonians. Okay. All right, you ready? Yeah, we ready for you, brother. Everybody listening. Give the gods some glory. We really like spaghetti. All right. It's it right here. For they that are sleep, sleep <laughs> in the <laughs> night, <laughs> and they that be drunken, are drunken. But let us who are of the day be sober, put on the real plate of faith and love, and for the heaven of salvation. Okay, that wasn't really what I want to say, but I'm gonna have to. Quote it. I'm gonna have, I'm gonna, no, I got to. No, I hear you, brother. No, I got to quote it to you because I don't got where it was. So. Anyway, there's people in, in first Timothy and Thessalonians. One script in the Bible, but I just sometimes I feel what script. Okay, that's all good. Right now, now, what I'm saying, that maybe you can back up. I forget what okay. I'm saying. Tell, kind of tell what me what I'm trying to say, like this here. 
one scripture said, we did a lie. It says, wait, that's, that's when Jesus is coming back. He's coming back with 10,000, and he's coming back with 10,000 saints of God. Those that were holy, coming back with 10,000 saints. That's a and Gabriel is going to blow the first rock, the angel of David. And Jesus said, we that are alive shall not let them that are in the grave to be caught up first. Let them go first. See, Jesus was not going to touch the ground when he come back this time. Those in the grave are going to be caught up in spirit because God, Jesus brings back the glory of And then, we should not permit them to be caught up first. Then we get alive, then we go again. That's when he's coming back then. And see, those that will remain in the grave, those ones that repent for they sin, they're going to stay in their grave until the day of judgment. That's when Jesus said, every knee go bow. Every time we will say that he is right, the Lord of all lords. You understand? That's why when the Lord saved his sacrifice, he used to run women. I used to cut the police out, talk about their mama. I was going to been dead 20 some years ago. But I thank God for salvation. But you know what? I repented and the Lord came into my heart and changed me. I'm a newborn preacher in Christ. I give him the glory. I can change myself. I used to get so drunk, man, and just hit cars and everything. Well, I, my mother kept on praying for me back in Genesis. Lord, please save my son out there in California. The Bible said the prayers of the righteous of Bellis Month. The prayers of the righteous of Bellis Month. My mama kept on praying for me, though. Book of, Matthew, book of Matthew chapter 10 and verse 22. And you shall be hated of all men for my name's sake. So we all hate for Christ. So coming out here speaking the real word of Christ. Watch that. But he that endureth to the end okay. shall be saved. Okay. Endureth to what? To the end. Is the end here? Oh, no, I'm asking. Say what? Is the end here? Oh. The end. You said the end what? Is the end time here? Is it end? No, it happened. Oh, no, no, it happened. Got here again. Oh, yeah. Book of Matthew chapter 10 verse 22 And he shall be hated of all men for my name's sake But he that endures to the end shall be saved Shall be what? Shall be saved the end is not here. You just agreed and said that you hey, look, nobody says that you're the end is here. You don't even know what salvation is. No, you said to the end, nobody's going to be saved. No, I'm saying, you're, you said you were already saved. You're talking past me. He's not saved. 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 Blessed be the Lord God of Israel, for he has visited and redeemed his people. There was no end when he died on the cross. Book of Luke, chapter 1, verse 68. Blessed be the Lord God of Israel. Blessed be the Lord God of Israel. Blessed be the Lord God of Israel. For he has visited and redeemed his people. And has raised up a horn of salvation for us in the house of his servant David. As he spake by the mouth of his holy prophets, which have been since the world began. That we should be saved from our enemies. That's salvation. Save for our enemies. Man, who's your enemy? Who's the other? Or the other nations. Anybody outside of the 12 tribes of Israel. Read this. Keep reading. And from the hand of all that hate us. And from the hands of hate us. Man, give, me, give me one of those right? uh, Okay. Why did, it, why did Jesus, when Paul Jesus left, went back to the heaven to the Father out? Why is it go ye to the disciples? Go ye to all the nations and preach the gospel to you. all the kingdom of God. Look at this. These, these people hate us, man. These people hate us. We out here, right? They said we out here. Yeah. They are enemies, right? We got to get back to this, right? Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. No, I just y'all love that. Okay. Okay. okay, all praises, man. I'm glad you don't love them, man, because Christ is no, don't, don't deal with that. That's why I took the state right here. Okay, so look, those, those are all the people. When you're talking about the Lord, I'm going to be honest with you. Oh, man, God, he's a lot of elders. Look at him. Look at him. Look at him. When you had the valley running back, they didn't turn it the way you see the older valley going the other way. Oh, I, I, I got the devil and evil corrupt. And that's why the white man is trying to kill all the black men. Trying to kill all the black. What he started with? Now look. Now the black men. Now, 
I'm a black ribbon, now I'm a black man. Right, let, 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 me, let me deal with what you said, right? Go ahead and give me half of 28. And 19, the brothers no more, right? Nah, we talking talk. We talking talk. Let's talk talk, right? Well, I enjoy talking. Look it up. Book of Matthew, chapter 28, verse 19. Go ye therefore and teach all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father, and the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. All nations. Teaching them to observe all, all things. Now look. Now, all nations. Okay, now let me explain this to you, brother. Hopefully you got ears to hear, right? Like you understand, right? Now look, the word nation, right, in Greek, has several different definitions, right? You understand that this wasn't written in English. This was translated. Right? The, the scrolls were originally written in Greek. So when you go into the Greek understanding of the word nation, it's synonymous with tribes. Let you know the 12 tribes of Israel. Right? All nations of the 12 tribes of Israel is scattered in every nation under the heavens. James 1 and 1. Well, you know look, 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 now, now look, James, the Lord's brother, remember James? The brother, Apostle James is the Lord's brother. He grew up in the same household as Christ. Yeah, Watch but this. in the flesh. Watch this, in the flesh. Yeah. Book of James, chapter 1, verse 1. Watch what he said. James, a servant of God and of the Lord, Yahweh Shah Mashiach, to the 12 tribes which are scattered abroad, greeting. 12 tribes scattered abroad in every nation of the heaven. Zechariah 7 to 14. But I scattered them in their whirlwind among all nations. What? Among all nations. What? Among all nations. I scattered them, the 12 tribes, among what? All, all nations. nations. All nations. So when he was talking about. So you had so like 12 disciples. 12, 12 tribes disciples. Are, 12 when tribes. He was listen, real listen, thing. Hold on, brother. Let me, let me explain it to you. You got to gotta have some ears to hear, right? Give me like five minutes, right? That was, don't stop. <laughs> it's all good, elder. Look. Now, look. Hey, you're when, Christ, when Christ gave the commission. Because y'all made me praise the Lord. Give God some glory. I feel the spirit of the Lord. Now, look, when Christ. The spirit is out here. But now look, listen, brother, listen, listen, brother, listen, listen. Now look, when Christ said all nations, he was talking about the Israelites who were scattered in all the nations under the heavens, right? Read that. Book of Tobit, chapter 13 and verse 3. Confess him before the Gentiles, ye children of Israel, for he hath scattered us among them. That's what we know here. We scattered among the Israelites. I mean the Gentiles. The Israelites. You don't even know who the Israelites are. Okay, okay. okay so you know that. Right? The, church ta the church taught you that? Look, no. look. Oh, give me that image. I'll finish playing to let me if you let me. Go ahead, brother. Go ahead. You know what? Let me explain something to you. The Jew that you see down there, like with this name on their head, they're not the real Jew. They call them Octagon, uh -huh. but they're not the real Jew. Oh. Now we got it, right? They're not the real Jews. So what, they call us the Octodot Jews. What are they? They're not holy. They're not holy. the synagogues of Satan. I'm going to show you who they are. God talked about them. He, he covered it. So he, look, everything is in the Bible. We can find every answer right here in the Bible. Book of Revelation, chapter 2 and verse 9. The Bible says, in the last day, many false prophets should go out into the world. Many false prophets should feed. And, and, and you know, feed. unfortunately, there's a lot of false prophets in the Christian church. A lot of them. Book of Revelation, chapter 2 and verse 9. I know thy work in tribulation and poverty, but thou art rich. And I know the blasphemy of them which say they are Jews. Who call themselves Jews right now? Huh? Who call themselves Jews? Them white folk. Okay, watch Got that thing right And are not, but are the synagogue of Satan. What are they? Synagogue of Satan. I've been no one. I've been no one. You didn't know that, right? I've been no one. So look, look, so look. So look, so now. I would never call them to. I would never call them to. Oh, they're not the devil. Now look. Now that. And the one that was going in Israel, they're not the devil. You know that, right? You know what? Now look. They hate Jesus, too. They hate him. They don't even subscribe to him. They don't even them. Exactly. See, they wait on some kind of shining on them with a big rider over the long floor to come back and get them. God bless y'all. God bless you. I enjoy y'all. May the Lord be. Okay, I enjoy it. Keep the law. Keep the law, brother. When y'all come back and eat. We be out here every Saturday. Lord willing.